and about how you can master your time. Hello, good morning. My name is Grace Estayola. I am a content creator, a script writer, and a teens advocate. Okay, so today, in a few minutes, I would like to tell you about how to make the best of your 2022. You know, 2022 is here again, and we spent 10 days, 10 good days out of 2022. Like someone said this morning, if you do nothing in 10 days, that means you might do nothing in 10 months. That means you might do nothing in 10 years. Now, my people, you need to know that for you to be able to achieve so much and make the best of your 2022, there are a lot of things that you need to put in place. Now, there is something called motivation. There is nobody that can motivate you better than you can motivate yourself. You have to be your best motivator. You have to be the best person for yourself. You have to be your number one fan. What are the things that inspire you to work? What are the things that inspire you to action? Those are the things that you need to start working on. Those are the things that you need to start working with. There is nobody that can motivate you better than you. And you need to be intentional. Intentionality. It is very, very important. In fact, it is key. If you are not deliberate about your actions, if you are not deliberate about the things you do, about your decisions, if you are not intentional about the things you want to achieve in 2022, you might not be able to achieve them. You might not even be able to get to as as half, you might not be able to get to half of what you intend to do. Why? Because you are not intentional about it. You know that procrastination is real. Laziness is real. Distractions, they are real. So in as much as you want to play the um, excuses card, it still does not change the fact that time is running out and you have not done anything. So you need to be intentional about the things you want to do. You need to find a way to make your, to make your days productive, to make your time productive. It is not enough to be busy. It is not enough to form busy. It is not enough to work yourself to the ground. It is very important that you're intentional about the things you do. What are the things that you need to let go? What are the things that you need to bring on? What are the things that need to leave your table? You need to be intentional about them. The kind of circle you move with, the type, the type of friends you go out with, the kind of people you relate to, the kind of things you do, the kind of decisions you make. You need to be very, very intentional about them. Okay? Another thing, the twin brother of intentionality is consistency. Hmm. You see consistency? If you are not consistent, you might not achieve as much as you need to achieve it is not enough to just be intentional you have to be consistent you have to pay yourself it's it's a price that you have to pay you have to be consistent and now now you when you are consistent that means you show up every day you show up every day even when it is not comfortable even when it is not convenient you still show up you still make sure that you do the things that you need to do every single day. So do you see intentionality and consistency, they go hand in hand. You can't do one without the other. Now, in as much as people say work hard, work hard, you need to work hard, you need to do this, you need to do that. You need to remember that all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Yes. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, which means that if you are not careful, you will burn yourself to the ground, you will burn out, and there is nothing you can do about it. So, which means that create time for yourself. The reward for your hard work should be rest. It's not just about the money or the profits or the influence or the impact. Rest is important. You need to learn how to chill. You know chill and netflix <laughs> okay you need to learn how to chill you need to learn how to give yourself rest and not the type of rest where you know you lie down and you're thinking about several other things you need to do no you need to let your brain rest you need to give your body rest it is very important that you rest and of course do not forget to have fun fun is important
just as work is important now if you combine all these things what i'm trying to say is that you need to find balance in anything you are doing in 2022 you need to find balance balance work balance play balance god balance everything because if there is no balance one place will suffer and once one part is suffering it is only a matter of time before every other part suffers too so which means that you need to be very very intentional about balancing your life you need to balance everything out not too much work not too much play not too much rest not too much work so find out if it's five percent in 20 places so far as it's balanced why not so okay i hope this is going to make your 2022 and i want you to know that you are doing well the fact that things are not showing up the result is not as big as you expect right now does not mean that there is no result at all so celebrate yourself celebrate your little victory celebrate the little achievements you make okay i hope that by the end of 2022 you would have made the best of your year yet okay i wish you a very beautiful 2022 take care of yourself 2013 